With bright eyes and bright minds, a special group of students walks into the mayor's office marveled and impressed. Yet they weren't the only ones. It's my honor to have them here and I am so inspired by each of them. In the midst of more than 150 applications from more than 20 different school districts, 25 students stand out. They represent Atlanta's 2018 inaugural class of the Harvard Debate Council Diversity Project. Then, their excitement was about being accepted into a program like no other. Now, they're thrilled to be able to change so many things. I thought we were just 25 students there to learn debate and that there was no way we could change history in seven months. I was incredibly incorrect. <laughs> Not only have we changed history, we changed ourselves, each other, and the narrative. I, it feels amazing. Like I remember, you know, watching news stories on the election processes of the mayor, thinking one day maybe I could be at that level or work with him. And here I am, having not even graduated high school yet, being honored. It's something that I've always dreamed about, and it's great to have this actually be a reality. The Harvard Debate Council Diversity Project is an Atlanta-based program that exposes African American students to a curriculum of critical thinking, research, and academic debate. Its founder and the student's fearless leader, Brandon Fleming, is glowing with pride. Real, you know, we're so honored to be recognized not only by the mayor, but by the city of Atlanta and the school board of Atlanta. And honestly, the entire country has really embraced these kids in this organization and has celebrated what they've accomplished at Harvard University. He just taught us that you can do all of these things that you do in debate. You can reason, you can have logical analysis, you can use all this de fancy debate lingo, but you can also still be authentically black. Part of the program's mission is to get participants into the Harvard Debate Council's summer residency on the Cambridge campus. Not only did the Atlanta group go, it conquered. Jordan Thomas, a senior at Grady High School, reigned champion of the single elimination competition hosted by the council. Someone tells me I can't do something, I bet, you know, let's see what I can do to put myself in the position to where I come out on top. Nearly 400 students from around the world competed in the tournament. However, those closest to Jordan weren't surprised he won. Jordan is probably one of the most adept students I've ever taught in my academic career. Um, his drive, his determination, his level of scholarship, and his level of leadership is simply unparalleled. He's a go-getter. He has really high goals for himself. Um, he has a lot of self-discipline, which is uh, um, not always seen in someone his age. Um, but he's also so positive. He, he wants to learn about the world. He wants to make an impact. Um, and his uh, desire to do well and to learn about the world is infectious. In life and in the classroom, Jordan's approach is the same. So today we're here, right? And so we're going to act out uh, social psych terms. Uh, so you're going to get in groups, you're going to pick your term. Why don't we just like discuss our disagreements? You all both want to be friends with her. We're all social people here. Wouldn't it be better for her if she was less torn between you all on who to hang out with? Jordan's Harvard win is also a win for the team and the city of Atlanta. When our team brought the trophy home to Atlanta and the headline said Harvard Debate Council brought home trophy to Atlanta and dominated the competition, I knew that what we'd done was monumental. What these young people are doing, they are elevating expectations in our communities. You don't traditionally think of African American students when you think about debate and when you think about Harvard University, but to have them represent Atlanta so well and really to have this dynamic voice on a world stage, it's really a testament to who we are as a city and as a community.